19 minutes, 57 seconds, 113 miles an hour. 1948, 114, a little bit quicker for Nick Crow as they go into the top of Bray Hill and down the other side together. It's a sidecar train and Nick Crow closing, closing, closing. You can see that Molly is wide. That sidecar takes up the whole road and you have to take the racing line. There is only one racing line, especially on the faster bits of the TT course, and the sidecar's as wide as a car. It's so difficult to pass through Quarter Bridge, sliding round. It's the only way they'll turn corners. This is it. Crows alongside him as they run out towards Braddon. He's shut the door on Molly to make sure it's a firm pass. Now moving out to take the racing line into the first left, slow in gently round and now on the gas watch it slide it has to do that or it'll be off it's the only way they turn corners as we say so nick crow leads dave molyneux up the balahutchin honda leads suzuki as this battle continues dave molyneux didn't enjoy being passed doesn't want to be behind nick crow 11 there is Phil Dongworth at Union Mills. Sixth going over the start finish line and about 11 seconds behind Steve Norbury. Fourth is Claffey by some two seconds. And they're still at it over Balacry. Nick Crow with Dave Molyneux tucked right in, getting the benefit of a toe. He's in the slipstream. Is he shaping up to pass? The body language says yes. He's weaving from side to side. Here it comes. Can he repass and get the lead back on the road? It's only a question of honour. They're 10 seconds apart. He needs to get in front of him if he's going to stand a chance of pulling out 10 seconds again and putting himself back in contention. But as you saw, it just didn't happen there. Right down through the gearbox now. But they know how hard it is just to finish him. Look at Dave Molyneux coming round signpost all over the shop into Bedstead chasing after Nick Crow and Mark Cox tucking down as they go for breaks. They're almost there. It's almost over. We're talking about the last few hundred yards of this out from under the trees for the second time in three days. The chequered flag is raised and it's waiting for Nick Crow and Mark Cox. Dave Molyneux has a much better result than he had on Saturday when he didn't get much further than this. And now Nick Crow and Mark Cox bring it in for the celebrations at the end of the second victory of the week. I know, it's great. I know all I had to do was try and catch Dave on the road and and all he'd do was try and keep him behind me then for the rest of the race. You know, I knew it'd be hard to pull himself 10 seconds back, but he did try his best. It was whopping and changing there for a bit, and there was even touching the fairings and all sorts going on out there. You know, it was like short circuit and CT, but I think it'd give everybody something to watch, I think, but it was really good.